<clears throat> hey Andres, how are you? I'm stressing to see. Senor Dinesh, R9 soccer cards. Seal, yeah. Let's hope we get to see uh, Mr. Seal a couple of times at least. How are you, Carlos? FC breaks. Not something you see every day. No, it's not. Thanks, Carlos. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Romanian cards. C. Uh oh, I'm sorry. Romanian cards collect. Welcome. Daniel Cristobal, Krebs and Cards. My David Box can wait. Oh, uh, is that Alfonso David? Alfonso David? Yeah, I think he posted something. All right, congratulations, Sporting. R9, this, uh, that was pretty much the, the only decent game in Europe today, from what I understand. And unfortunately, I didn't watch it. Thanks, Nils. 10 10, appreciate it. All right. Um, yeah, good luck with that, Krebs, um, with that box. All right, too many people for me to either wave or say, um, or welcome. Well, I'll say Eduardo Gonçalves, brutal, thank you. All right, so guys, so some of you that followed me, I've seen a couple of boxes that I've opened in the past, and it's for obvious reasons that I'm opening up this one. Um, well, this is uh, actually still sealed. For those of you who have seen it, you know, this is the only sealing that uh, uh, any anything that sealed coming from Panini factory is only this particular tape and it's actually still intact but as you can tell from the outside I mean the box is uh, you know it's got some stains also in the back here or in, in the bottom so it's not a good box to, to obviously sell to anyone uh, I also have another one which is in much better shape than this but actually the seal has uh, loosened up, you know, from the part here. So, uh, I mean, it's in that situation too. So if I open any more of my boxes, it will be the, the one that I mentioned. So, all right, um, let's get started. And uh, again, I'm gonna actually cut the seal right through here. All right, and we're gonna pull out, uh, it says 36 packs, you know, where does it say that? this way okay it says 36 packs that's what Sakitas means and each each uh, pack back then was 50 cents amazing right and each pack has uh, six cards inside and believe it or not this set is very uh, very small it's only 142 cards in the set so you do you, you know you do the math here when you have 36 packs times six uh, cards on each, you get, you get over 200 uh, cards altogether. So you're gonna get doubles uh, for sure, plenty of doubles. And hopefully we'll grab not just one CR, but maybe two. All right, so uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and let's get started. Let me pull out all the packs, make sure that we have 36. And uh, these, I'm sure you guys have seen, also uh, some people have um, gotten them, um, uh, what do you call it, authenticated with uh, PSA um, and, you know, put in the slab, which is a good idea too. And on average, they go for at least a uh, um, thousand bucks. So, all right, let me count one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, and thirty-six. All right. So here we go. And of course, some of you seen also on eBay that. The pack in itself is a collector's item if you're um, a CR7 uh, collector or even a deck because in the front he's featured um, uh, the same picture uh, that is used um, for his Mega Cracks. And of course, I'm going to try to save these and for the first time, I'm going to try to use this to see if, uh, if I'm able to save it, the pack without damaging it. 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's a good idea. It doesn't do well, but you guys are gonna have to be patient with me. On the next one, I'm gonna try to use what I've done in the past, which is kind of force it in a way that the pack will be uh, somewhat uh, safe, all right? So here we go. The first one we have, and this is an error card. Uh, most of them are stuck at this point. This is, as you can tell, this is Ricardo Carvalho, not Ricardo Costa, that's a mistake by Panini in the label. In the back, it is featured um, Ricardo Costa, which you'll see here. That's Ricardo Costa, the real one in the front, the wrong uh, Ricardo Costa. This is Carvalho. We have another port player, Costinha, and a Porto emblem, and another emblem. Got to be extra careful, obviously, so that uh, in case it's the Ronaldo that's stuck on these. All right, none of these are Ronaldos, Maritimo. So actually, you, you notice here that this is Jovem Promesso, which is uh, a young uh, promise, a young prospect, which is the same type of subset where we would find the Ronaldo. And on average, you get on average about one or so per pack. So the odds are good of getting the Ronaldo. All right, so first pack, uh, nothing. All right, so let me try to do what I typically do, and that is because it doesn't look like that will work. Or yeah. Right. Use the technique so that I can save this. Or uh, are you on YouTube as well right now? Uh, no, I'll put this on YouTube. Hopefully, if uh, I can do this under one hour, and then I'll put on my uh, um, on my YouTube channel. If that's what you mean, yes, I do have a YouTube channel, but right now it's not live, only on Instagram. All right, so this is Canada, which is another subset. Um, that's the, the stars abroad. And it looks like this is also stuck. Second card. First and second card seem to be stuck uh, so far. Card Stibs, a Braga player. And there's another card stuck here. Jose Manuel, Vitor Vieira. And in the back we have Duda. So six cards. Yeah, it depends on the condition of grading, if you're asking um, how much do the Ronaldos go for. Of course, I have to be extra. Thanks, Chicago Soccer Cards. Appreciate it. Uh, this open through the front now. It's the first time it happens like this, so. All right, so this is destroyed. And we have a player from Verzing. Let's see if these are also stuck. No, not too bad, but they are indeed stuck. I think that's the first player, right? Yeah, King Bert. Academica. All right, so that's the Jobin Promessa. There's a good chance there will not be another one in this pack. So, just making sure. Yeah, this is the Benfica team. Uh, crest and the, the the team in the back starting 11 from one of the games and uh, actually let me put the job range per message to the side so you guys can see how many we actually get in the box I got that uh, that's a crack stranger which you'll have some you'll have a figo or Roy Costa for sure so here's a, a job in promise the first one that came out okay next pack we've opened uh, three packs uh, the pull rate on CR7 in these boxes I've uh, averaged two sometimes just one I've had uh, uh, there's been times I've actually pulled three Ooh. so you just never know but the odds are very good because um, again if, you're, uh, if you weren't here from the beginning the fact that uh, in this complete set, there's only, what was 140, 142 trading cards in the set. There are 36 packs times six cards. You do the, you do the math again, it's over, over 200 cards in this box and you definitely get doubles. All right, so this is Kraken uh, Strangeiro. 
again, these first two are stuck, but thank God it doesn't look like it does any damage to any of the cards, so that's good. Elder Prestiga, Porto Play, that also played with Tottenham, among other clubs. Uh, Sergio Nunes and uh, Jorge Costa, and the last one is uh, Hugo Costa. Oh, it's like a subset. It's like a subset, yeah. There's, um, I don't have the checklist with me, but on these Jobbings Promesses, which is the same subset that you'll find the Ronaldo, there's like seven or eight players. Uh, that's it. Seven, eight, the maximum nine. On the Craxon Strangeiro, I forget what it is. If you go to laststicker.com and do, you know, Mega Cracks 2003, they'll have the whole checklist. Craxon Strangeiro, I think it's a little more. So you'll, you'll get doubles with the Jovis Promesses, and we'll, we'll soon start seeing that. All right, so let's try another, another pack. Try not to force the issue too much without damaging the card, you know, like bending it in any way. I've managed to do that throughout the other openings. Hey, thanks, David. Appreciate it. Paul as well. You guys got a lot of snow over there, right? You're up in, uh, what is it? Massachusetts? Somewhere in New England, I guess, right? Uh, here in the in the coast, we got like, I don't know, some areas that got 10, 12 inches. I know you guys got a uh, good amount of snow up there, so. Alright, let's see what we have here. There's Jardel, a great goal scorer. From both Porto, um, Porto Sporting, and also Galatasaray, I believe. Yeah, 50 viewers, yeah. And yeah, this is a popular box, so I always get a, a good amount of people watching. Jean Pinto, good player too. And it looks like we have something stuck. That's him. Darley, what a player he was too for Porto, won the UEFA Cup with Porto and the Champions League. Guimarães and two and uh, two goalies, Nelson from Sporting and uh, Marco Aurelio. All right, another box. Yeah, Jardel was a great player. Not uh, a big technical guy, you know, but in the area he was he was a danger. Yeah, this one opened through the front. Which I don't like to see. All right. And we have a different subset here. Hey, that's the Porto coach right now, Sergio Conceição. He's uh, also played for Lazio and Inter Milan, obviously. That's why he's here. And these are somewhat stuck. I want to make sure that always the, that's the card in the back because they come together and uh, I don't want to lose out on getting the good player. Here we go, you have two of these together, okay? That's three. Vitor Bahia, the goalkeeper for Porto. Ooh, there's a Jovem Promessa, but it's not Ronaldo yet. And uh, all right, so three Jovens Promessa so far. So it's 18 cracks from Stranger. Thanks, uh, Ricardo. I know there was there was a lot more than Jovens Promessas. And how many Jovens Promessas are you able to confirm that? I want to say it's like seven or eight. Can't be more than that. Again, I don't want to force it. Okay, I think I managed. Yeah, Jardel is on Big Brother in Portugal. All right, I heard that, and uh, the former, the former Sporting uh, president. I don't know if he's still on, but I know he started in Carvalho. So yeah, he is. He had a had a big time shout out to the Porto fans and Porto itself for changing his life forever. All right, this is a Sporting player, but it's not Jardel. Let me see what's stuck in here. Okay, it's not stuck. That's one card. Barroso, powerful shot. It's two cards. Pedro Mendes, three. Van Torres from Benfica. What is it, four? 
five, six. <clears throat> All right. Back. This one seems I seem to have saved it. Good shape. And now slide out. Oh, checklist. You guys seen the checklist also for sale on eBay a lot of times. People put it. And there's a player stuck to the back. Checklist I'll leave to the side. A sporting player, Contreras. That's the third card. Marco Ferreira is the first. Worth. Ooh, Quaresma. That's worth it. Quaresma and Petit. I have a sleeve where I'm going to put already. Yep, Pedro Mendes is a former uh, Rangers legend. I thought he also played with Tottenham, right? Or am I wrong? This Quaresma is very good shape. Corners are solid. Uh, well, uh, Andrew cards. It's his rookie card, but not from his rookie season. It's his first card, okay? Because the rookie, his actual rookie is from the year before, but it's in a sticker format. Uh, so it's from 2001-02, and this is 2002-03. So you can consider his first card, but not necessarily his rookie. So, all right. Another, let's see if I can save that. Okay. Again, trying to save the pack. Oh, Collector's Paradise UK. You've never heard that one before. That's fine. <laughs> if you say so. Looks like this, I might not be able to save as I'd like. Okay. Now, one thing I remember in the past, usually the sequence of things, um, the sequence of the players that usually have the Ronaldo is when you have, um, I, I believe it was Silva, Silva and Nuno Gomes, from what I recall. And I think Pedro Spinha also. So let's see if they did the same thing on, on this box. Hopefully we'll get to it. There's Beto. But, you know, they, they could be different. Pedro Henriques, Ricardo Rocha, and, uh, nope, no Ronaldo here. Okay, another pack. Ana, crack no estrangeiro, stuck. Viana, ah. Ricardo, Braga, José Nando, Armando, and Paulo Ferreira, who you guys might recognize from having played with Chelsea also. 90s card collector may get CR7 by next card show. I mean, fingers crossed. Good luck to you. The, what's the plan with the packs? Well, if I hit two, I might send the rest, depending on how many are remaining, um, for for grading with PSA. You know, put in a slab. So, because these are in very good shape. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, doesn't look like this one's too. So the 
This is, looks like uh, Vitoria Stuval in the back, Morirens in the front. And they're a bit stuck. Morirens, Maciel, also play for Porto. Yeah, we got a ton of, uh, oh, this one is stuck too. Fangeiro, Nelson, Stuval, and Lydia. No, I haven't hit a Ronaldo yet, Paul. Not yet, so fingers crossed. It is much easier and faster, but the, the thing is, I'm trying to save these packs because, uh, you know, some people want the packs and I sold them in the, on eBay in the past. That's why I'm trying to, you know, save them. Okay. All right, Jorge Andrade. That's Manish. Manish was around too in Russia, played for Atletico Madrid. And before Porto, he played for Benfica. So, so yeah, some of you guys know that. Rui Borges, Tuck, on Valmens. All of these are stuck. Oh, another job in Promessa. Yeah, they, this this box uh, hasn't had many so far. So far, four different ones. Okay, but thankfully we're not even halfway there yet. Oh, Manish. Oh, yeah, Manish eventually, Manish eventually played for Sporting. I forgot about that, yeah. He did towards the end, the end of his career. Cafu. Uh, I thought it was Silva. Silva would increase our chances of getting Ronaldo from the sequence that I recall. Ricardo Souza, he's a second generation player for Porto. Uh, he played for Benamar, among other teams, but yeah, his father also played uh, for Porto, and his son is part of, was uh, part of uh, the young squad. Oh, here's a, here's a, what is this? Jovem Promes, oh, Gerard. Geraldo. Why couldn't you be Ronaldo? Sapinto. Something stuck, and Nacional de Madeira. All right, so we managed to put, pull five Jomis Promessas so far. We got an, an autograph from Cafu. Uh, no, Sick Ball C, FC, your question is, is there a Sporting Team photo with CR7 in this set? No, there isn't. And, and it's neither on the, on the sticker set. A lot of people think there is, but no. The guy that seems to be Ronaldo in that team picture is actually Quaresma, so. A lot of people make that mistake. All right, this one is not. Uh, 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 might open. So yeah, but if you go on uh, on eBay, you see a lot of people selling that card as a Ronaldo team set uh, card rookie, and as he's definitely not on it. Okay. All right, this is Paulette, one of the greatest um, Portuguese goal scorers. Play for. Bordeaux and I also played for PSG. Great player. Idalessio, nice story about this guy. I think he's living, live, living in England now. And it's another card stock. Second card. Two, three. Pedro Manuel, four, five, six. Yeah, no problem. I've, I've uh, in some of the lives that I've done, I've, I've warned people about that, you know. And, and, and if you manage to ever get your hands on some uh, packs uh, from the sticker set, there's also uh, a sporting team set on it. And he's definitely not there either. So we, we should be able to get a, a sporting uh, team set in this, hopefully, in a few. 
All right, Mario Loja. Let's see, there's another. Okay, a couple of things stuck here. Well, there's three team press here. First card, Santa Clara. What are these? It looks like there's three of them stuck here. Come on. All right. And no Ronaldo. See people selling the team from Puno Ronaldo. Yep, he's not even the four. That's right. Buyer beware. Back to there's Fernando Couto from the subset Traction Estrangeiro. Sometimes, sometimes Ronaldo comes after this guy, but let's see if we're lucky here. Oh, here's Nuno Gomes. A lot of times, that's the sequence. Guys, yeah, fingers crossed. Let's see. All right. And of course, they're stuck. We got the last card out. That's Jankowskis. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Is Ronaldo here? Behind there? Nope. He's not. Well, so the sequence is screwed up on this particular box. Make sure I pulled all of them. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Let me see. Five. And couch, because was the last one. The two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe I miscounted. Thanks, Jamie. Appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, Pack is saved. There lay. This is a double already. You guys remember it came out. One. Two. Nothing. Yeah, man. It's very nerve wracking. You hate sequence runs. Yeah, I know, but well, we know the sequence uh, run, at least in this box, seems to uh, not be what, if, what it's, you know, what I've seen in other boxes. Uh, I, I, I did notice, uh, was it? Silva, Silva from Boa Vista was the other guy that I've seen um, him um, be in front of the Ronaldo. So I don't think we had a Silva yet. Where's another Jovem Promessa? Sometimes we get two Jovens Promessa in, uh, in, one, in, in one pack. I've seen it happen. So do we have a Rui Baiano yet? Let me see here. Rui Baiano. Oh yeah, see, we we've already got two Rui Vallons in the same uh, in the same uh, box, and again, typically we get uh, doubles uh, for pretty much all of the Jovens Promessas, which is a subset for Ronaldo. So I just don't want to bend the card. Okay, got something. And I apologize for taking a little longer. Than normal. I don't know if you guys probably are used to just ripping it. Alright, what do we have here? Pedro Mendes. That's a double. They're stuck. No, no stuck here. Paul Souza, I want to say, is double also. Contreras. 
and oh, nothing here. Uh, Jorge Costa. Sorry, I haven't been looking at you guys' comments. At least that, if I don't hit a Ronaldo, I'll have some loose packs. How many packs in? I'll, I'll check after this um, champion of sport. Well, I was going to say we should be about halfway by now. And this is destroyed. How about Mart? Right, we have some stuck. Imerens. What's in the back? Nothing worthwhile. Walmart, one. These are stuck. Nope. All right, so let's see how many packs in the, uh, we are at this point. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 packs. Not good. All right. The odds on a Ronaldo per box. Well, typically you can get two, sometimes one. I've had one time none, and I've had three, believe it or not. So, another destroyed. Here's Jean Armando, and of course, these are stuck again. One card, the card of the double. Nothing behind, Braga. Romeo, Vitor Veia, and... Is this Nelson? Yep. Here's the five, uh, the six cards. We haven't even need, hit a Figo or a Rui Costa too. Um, FTAD Ross eighty three. I'm not selling a box. Actually, there there is a box of these, and a two thousand four and a two thousand five uh, from the Portugal uh, Mega Clax collection. Right now on Golden uh, auctions. It ends next week. So. Look up uh, Golden Auctions, and you'll see uh, one of these boxes, and again, plus 2004 and 05. Same thing with the a rookie uh, box for um, for Messi, 2004-05, and uh, uh, 05-06, and 06-07. Both of those lots are at um, on Golden. So. Hey, Jamie, you got the... Uh, if James is still here, you can get the link. Oh, here we go. Speaking of the devil, Rui Costa, now the president for Benfica Club in Portugal. And behind we have Murray Dance. I'm going to save that one. Maciel. Oh, here's another, um, another uh, Jovem Promessa. And Avançado. Says sorry, so I, and I believe is this the second Cesar of shoot we get? Yep. So you see, hey, Ricardo, um, Ricardo Gonçalves. Uh, I don't know if you wrote how many uh, jovens promessas are in this uh, in this set. But so far, we've had doubles of uh, Rui Bayon and Cesar Peixoto. <laughs> but with my luck, no Ronaldo. Okay. Uh, my top three Portuguese of all time. Top three Portuguese of all time. All right. Of, of players that I've seen play, obviously Ronaldo, number one. Figo, number two. Here's another Quaresma. That's a double. And Eusebio, I didn't really get to see play, but obviously I would have to put him also. Well, I'll, I'll, put, uh, I'll put him right next to... Or right after uh, Ronaldo, so Cristiano Ronaldo, Eusebio, and and, and Figo, and uh, Futre is a. Ooh, Quaresma! I thought it was. He has the same uh, 
the same style as Ronaldo in, in the picture. All right, so this one good. Kind of lost my frame of thought, thought here. Manish, Rui Borges, and no Ronaldo. This trade, I'm gonna open up the whole box. Um, so, what's your favorite Eusebio card? Um, I actually like a card from 1966, a Portuguese sticker. It's in black and white. Uh, obviously, um, this that set was released after the World Cup, where Portugal placed third. And it's Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo it's Eusebio, uh, sort of like a, a makeshift bandana that they put on his head because he had gotten he had gotten hurt in the game and obviously he went back into the game and it shows him pointing to uh, something on the field. It's a classic. I'll, I'll post that um, sticker later. Um, but I, I, I really like that, that, that sticker. It's not a card. But that's my favorite. Is. Um, if, you, if you go on, on Discord, if you guys follow uh, Discord, uh, the Soccer Study channel and uh, also the um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, vintage. That's uh, the picture that I use for, for my name, Hooked on Soccer uh, card. So it's easier to see. Yeah, I forget against what, uh, against who Portugal's playing where he got hurt. All right, here's a Figo. We're getting there, we're getting hot. Just not hot enough. And how do I open this without scratching the card? Come on. Okay. The Xavier Colon and Salazar for some reason from that set too. Yeah. I believe it's the the Portuguese set is called Ibis, if I'm not mistaken. I B I S. And well, this looks like a crack from Strangeiro, am I wrong? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ronaldo, he had to be stuck with Figo. See, I've never seen this sequence. Finally, a, a Ronaldo and um, let's, uh, let's be careful taking it out from the other. Okay, we're good here. I just, um, should I put it to the side or no? I'm gonna put it here. Get the rest of them. Pedro Manuel, Nacional. Okay, these don't matter. All right, so let me, it looks like on the bottom right corner, a little bit of white, but the other corners seem to be good as well as the edges. And the center is all also pretty cool. And the surface, surface is good. Little nick above his head to the left that I see. This is not a 10, obviously, because I, I, I was able, with the naked eye, I'm actually wearing glasses, but I'm able to uh, notice a couple flaws with the card, but it, it's at least, uh, it's an eight. But the way PSA is grading them right now, thanks guys, appreciate it, all the congrats uh, on here. Uh, with the way PSA is grading right now, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this would be a, a, a seven. But by my standards, it's um, it's it's a good card, you know. Again, one flaw on the bottom right corner, and um, a little um, it looks like a nick. Something st stands out on his uh, head to the left side, but. And again, this was behind the Figo, which is strange. Actually, let me push this back so I can have some room. Sorry, Roy Costa, you're gonna lose the middle spot on here. I'll, I'll, I'll give you, you know what? You can stay back there. It's not because your team lost today. It's just that Ronaldo is much better than him. I don't know if you guys uh, keep up with some Portuguese news, but it, I noticed something the other day, um, Roy Costa speaking about uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously, they were teammates in the 2004 Euro. Um, and uh, Roy Costa admitted to 
when when first uh, Cristiano Ronaldo came onto the team, that he was doing some some tricks, uh, some tri uh, you know tricks with the ball that nobody else had done or had seen, and the guys would rub him off like yeah whatever, but he 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 now uh, admits to uh, you know the guys would try to imitate him in 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 hiding in secret and they weren't able to do it so um i thought that was interesting uh Rick costa wasn't too happy with that team in 2004 because he kind of lost his starting spot uh from because of deck who um took over at the midfield position after portugal lost the first game against uh greece and would go on to lose also the final so, did I watch Xavi talking about Pedri? It's lovely. No, I, I didn't see that. I, I can see Xavi saying some great things about Pedri. Uh, it reminds me a lot of uh, Xavi, actually, the way he plays. So, I mean, tough shoes to, to follow. You know? That's, yeah. The teacher and the student, yeah. That's one guy that will definitely... Uh, I mean, he needs another guy in the midfield, though. The same way Xavi had Iniesta, and that's you know I, I've I've mentioned this a few times, um, but a lot of people don't give me credit for it. Um, but just think, let's let's go. You know, when, when when one compares Ronaldo to Messi, you know the numbers and so on. Can can we just uh, um, think about what could have been? If um, Cristiano Ronaldo had played with Xavi and Iniesta for all those years, uh, seriously, uh, you know, and I'm not dismissing uh, Messi by 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 any means, but I, I mean, how how many years did they play together? You know, Xavi, Iniesta, and Messi. I want to say a good ten years, ten years together. Okay, and let's add how many years did those three guys also play with? Ronaldinho, what was it, like three or four years? And then you add Deco. I mean, seriously, had had Ronaldo played with just Xavi and Iniesta alone, I'm not even saying 10 years, how many more goals would Ronaldo have had? And again, not dismissing Messi. So, oh yeah, Messi star really complimented the game for sure. Um, and, and uh, you know, Samuel Eto'o was, uh, you know, a beneficiary of all uh, that great team too. Although uh, Eto'o was, I mean, phenomenal player. Great. To me, probably the best African player ever. At least the, the, the greatest forward, in my view. Another checklist. But, um, but yeah, he benefited a lot from those guys. I mean, th those guys played together with their eyes closed, basically. So... Um, but that's that's something I always like to bring into the mix when people are, are debating who's who's the best of the two. And I, 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 you know, I'm not saying one is better than the other. One is probably more talented than the other, and the you know natural talent. And 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 the other has worked a lot harder to become the player that that he is or or was throughout his career. And he, he, you know, it's easy to know which which one of the two I'm referring when I mention that. So. But that's my take. Thoughts on YPSA are great in the Ronaldo stick and rookie card a lot tougher now. I, I, I don't know. I mean, there's one theory that said that they've been grading PSA. We're talking about they're, they're, they've been grading every major star, not just uh, Ronaldo and, 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 and Messi, but every, every um, you know, major star. Especially on their rookies, they've been extra tough. I don't know if they're trying to control the pop or what, but I mean, for sure they're doing it. All right, so now, or, ooh, Nuno Gomes, come on, come on. Ronald, are you back here? Is it double? No, not again. We haven't had a, a, a Silva yet, right? A Silva for Govista. So chances are still there. But yeah, I, I've noticed that a lot. I mean, you guys seen some of my, some of my PSA um, uh, graded cards that I got back. Um, I mean, uh, some mega cracks, some of these, they were really harsh. I mean, I was get, I got PSA fives, 
sixes and seven, I think it was. It, it was pretty bad. I mean, I, I don't see any flaw with the seven whatsoever. Yeah, I did see something with the, with the five, but not something with, uh, you know, grading so low. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the different style of plays, definitely. Ronaldo and Messi, but... And let's not forget that for the first few years, Ronaldo was your typical winger. I mean, he was more of a playmaker. I mean, the guy that would uh, look for openings and and his uh, number one job was to cross into the area. And then, you know, uh, Man United at the time had, what was it, Van Nistelrooy up there, they, which they really didn't get along later. Uh, and then a little bit of Rooney. But he was able to create his own chances too. But... Definitely different, uh, different styles. Oh, here we go, another one. We got the two upside down, but we got it. Let me see who's in front of him. Oh, see what I told you? What did I say? Silva from Boa Vista. A lot of times behind them, you get Ronaldo, and we got him. All right. Okay, is there something behind him? Yes, there is a card stuck. Few cards. There we go. Okay. Oh, another Jovem Promessa. You guys see that? There we go. And let's take a look at this one. Surface, surface, surface. I'm putting it with the angle on the lighting. And it is good. I don't see any flaws. Again, I'm not looking at the back here. And the corners are top. Top, top, top. I don't see anything. Nothing wrong with this card. And let me check the back, because sometimes you do have flaws in the back. And I do see one, a little bit. You guys see here? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit on this edge. A uh, little nick. I don't know why that is, but there is one. Oh, man. Otherwise, this card would have been great. Other than that, I don't see anything. And I could actually feel it as I put my hand through it, my finger. And you can probably see it um, on here, but that's not, that's a minor flaw. Of course, PSA would knock this at least, at least two points, but that's not bad nonetheless. And we have some packs remaining. Let me see how many. Man, this is a shame. This would have been a good candidate for a good PSA 9, at least. Wow. So you see, these flaws do happen even when you, um, you know, are opening these uh, these packs. And I'm pretty much done at this point because I want to grade the rest with... Um, oh, look at this. So so this pack had, had three Jovens Promessas. That has happened in the past. I didn't pull a sporting uh, emblem with the team in the back, but I did get, um, you know, Ronaldo. So these two nice Ronaldo, nice. Can we get three? <laughs> Trust me, I've hit three. I don't have videos, you know, to prove that, but I've hit three. Actually, if you guys, if you guys go, if you guys go to my YouTube channel, which again is hooked on soccer underscore cards. I believe in the last box that I have opened uh, of these, I got I got three um, Jovens Promessas on at least one of the players. Let me see here. Okay, so, all right, so let me see first how many packs we got left. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we hit two Ronaldos in 28 packs, right? Because the uh, box is, is 36, and we have eight remaining. So in 28 packs, we managed to get doubles of yours truly, Cristiano Ronaldo, and doubles of uh, Ed, Ed Nielsen, which uh, was a prospect, but didn't turn out too much, Geraldo. Which is, uh, he's, uh, he's actually uh, brothers of uh, Bruno Alves, if you guys know. Yeah, see, his last name is Alves. 
his father, their their father was also a a, a player, a, um, a center back for. Um, he was Brazilian, but anyway, getting back to the thing. So we managed to get two in twenty eight packs, two the uh, two doubles of Ronaldo, Ed Nilsson, Geraldo, Cesar Peixot, and Rui Baião, and most likely we were going to get another another um, Ricardo Costa. So um, oh, since I have the checklist, I, I'm going to confirm how many. How many other sets? So, Jovens Promessas, you have Cesar Peixot, which we hit. Cristiano Ronaldo twice. Oh, we didn't hit Dani. Dani from Sporting. That's the one guy we're missing. So, in total, uh, Jovens Promessas, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven in that subset. And, um, and on, in 28 packs, we got doubles of how many? One, two, three, four, five five players five players with doubles um one single of uh, ricardo costa which in this case is uh, ricardo carvalho and we were missing danny which most likely we would have hit in one of these eight eight packs so there you have it i i stopped i there's always a chance absolutely uh to hit a third ronaldo i'm not going to do it because i want to send those out to psa because they are in perfect perfect shape despite the, the box not being in perfect shape so i want to get these graded um and at some point sell them but again go to hooked on soccer um card uh, underscore cards on, on youtube look for it and there's there's a video there of one of the boxes and, and and i'm pretty sure one of these players i hit three times in, in a box Guys, uh, let me see quickly before I go. Um, is that Danny that played for Zenit? Yes, it is. He was born. He was born in um, in Venezuela, I believe. His parents were from the island of Madeira, also. So that's why he was. He played for Portugal. I smell a giveaway. A giveaway of what? One of these? That would be nice, right? One more? No, I'm not gonna open any more box. Um, who else? Uh, one more. Moreirense coach. Who is the Moreno's coach now? Believe it or not, I'm not uh, I'm not on top on top of that. Uh, Duarte Gonçalves, I forget. I'll take that one since he has a flaw. Okay, Carlos. Uh, can we get three? Yeah, perfect card. Yeah, I wish it was. It was it, unfortunately it was not a perfect card. Neither, uh, none of the two were. This last one, I I thought yeah, it just fell on the floor. Look at that. Thank God I had it protected. But they're not perfect. Uh, with these flaws, I don't know at this point what I can get with uh, with PSA, but I'm, I'm, I'm certainly going to try. Well, I don't know if I'm going to try. I've been hurt with PSA before on, on some cards that I thought were pretty good. So, I don't, I, But then again, you get the value, um, more value for them. I believe uh, a PSA 5, either yesterday or just uh, yes, uh, or today, went uh, on eBay. Was it like 37 or 38 um, hundred euros? So um, that's the price is very low for what it should be, but so guys, yeah, go check it out. Hooked on soccer and the score cards. Um, yeah, it's got to go to PSA, but uh, Nils, like I said, I mean, I'm a little frustrated with with uh, the the last uh, submission I had of these. So not very happy. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get a different grader this time around. Uh, Boas, Flip, you're a little late. I got uh, two of these in twenty eight packs, and I stopped. Uh, so yeah, for those of you that you know actually have uh, the cash to dish out, there's a possibility you can get one of these boxes um, plus the 2004-05 if you go to Golden Auctions. But I did this because again the box was not in very good shape, as you can see. So it would be tough sell, and I, this was uh, sealed um, with this tape. Um, but if you know of anybody interested, go to those. Those lots are actually mine that are on golden, the 2003, 2004, and 05, and then also the the Messi uh, box, rookie box, 2004, 05, 05, 06, and 06 or 07. Guys, appreciate it again. I'll. Uh, I want to save this. We're just under one hour. I want to save this uh, for future viewing and also post this on um, on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Appreciate. Um, you know, the company, and we'll see if I open another one of these anytime soon. Take care now.